Good day, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year B, and we shall all be reflecting on the question, what does your heart hunger for? If we are well conversant with our society, we would realize that one of the commonly used expressions is the expression, I'm hungry. And this is true of ourselves. Whether rich or poor, we have all got at some point to hunger for something. Hunger for wealth, hunger for food, hunger for fame, for possessions. It could even be hunger for peace, for justice, for happiness, for comfort, name it. We hunger for all of all these things, but here is a sad thing about our hungers. We can never get enough because they are insatiable by nature until we get to the final and ultimate hunger, which is the hunger for God himself. Hence, St. Augustine tells us, he says, our hearts are restless unto the rest in God. Dear friends, do we pursue material gains over and above our pursuit for God? If we do, then we are mistaken, just as the people in the gospel of, of today mistook the point and Jesus corrected them. Last Sunday in the gospel, we read how Jesus noticed the hunger of the people for food. And even without them asking him, he satisfied your hunger. Yes, God loves us and he cares for us. In fact, he does satisfy our hunger. Remember, in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, he says to us, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. In fact, in the first reading of today, God satisfied the hunger of his people, the Israelites, by providing them manna from heaven. Yes, God satisfies our temporal hunger. But here is the thing, when he does this, he does this so that we might even more hunger for him, who is the source of our satisfaction, rather than those things by which we are satisfied. This makes me remember the common saying that goes thus, Look, teach me how to fish. Don't just give me fish. This is because if you give me fish, I'll finish it and I'll come back again to ask for more and it will be endless. But if you teach me how to fish, you take me to the source where I get the fish and I won't have to disturb you anymore. God is the source of our satisfaction. He provides all that we need. It is He who we should seek rather than those temporal things that are fleeting that take our time. This was the point they missed in the Gospel reading of today. The people had thought Jesus would feed them again and so they went to meet him. And Jesus tells them, look, you have not come to seek me because of heavenly purposes. You have only come to be fed again. Friends in Christ, like this common saying we have just analyzed, God is the source of our satisfaction. He alone should we seek and not those temporary and fleeting desires we hunger for. Why these hungers may be good, but we should not hunger for them at the expense of our hunger for God. This was the point the people missed today. And Jesus teaches them that they should rather hunger for the food that lasts forever, the bread of life, the source of satisfaction, and not the temporary and fleeting desires they all aspire, ordinary food. Brothers and sisters, I think we really do waste our time over pursuits for temporary things at the expense of our pursuits for God. We should seek God rather than seeking temporary things. And this was the point St. Paul tells us in the second video of today. He tells us, Brothers, let us get rid of our old selves that has been corrupted by fleeting and temporal desires. Let us engage in the spiritual revolution that seeks to wear a new self for the sake of God who has called us for himself. Again, brothers, I tell you, I think it is a waste of time if we continue to seek fleeting desires over and above our hunger for God. Remember, St. Augustine tells us, our hearts remain restless until they rest in God. May God help us all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.